If you're looking for a cheap console to buy and haven't bought a 3DS yet, you're seriously missing out. The 3DS is one of the best choices for a handheld and I'm going to be going over why that is in this video. Before we go over to the modding capabilities of the 3DS, first we have to look at the console as a whole. The 3DS is a really well built console, especially the newer models like the new Nintendo 3DS XL and the 2DS XL. I would recommend you go for the 2DS XL as a 3D gameplay I find to be more of a novelty and gimmick rather than an actual standout feature. There are a ton of 2DS models with some really good designs as well. The second best thing is how cheap these consoles are, and they're usually really easy to find as well, especially in the US. The next thing is the battery life of the console. It can be up to 5 hours, which is really good relative to other handheld consoles. So you might be asking why you shouldn't just buy a custom made retro console made to run games for the 3DS and DS and other consoles because they can sometimes be cheaper and have a wider variety of games to play. The simple answer is the game library. The 3DS and mainly the DS have the specific two screen gameplay with a touch screen and that can only be really experienced in the best way in the native consoles. Emulating it on a computer just isn't as easy to play as the two screens are just laid out next to each other with no touch capability. With the 3DS you can basically play any old consoles games that came before it plus it has a whole library of 3DS and DS games in their native state for you to enjoy. And for the non-DS games, you can just play it on the top screen. My personal favorites would be Animal Crossing New Leaf, Super Mario 3D Land, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Zelda remakes, Professor Layton games. I've actually sunk hundreds of hours into these games. And for some franchises, most notably Pokemon, you can literally play the entire franchise of games up to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You can play arguably the best Pokemon games like Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Black and White and more. And it's even better because you can download and play custom games, fan games, or even drum hacks for games like the Pokemon ones. There are just so many possibilities. Thanks for watching this far. Only a tiny amount of people are subscribed, so a sub would be really appreciated. My life dream is to reach 302 subscribers, after which I will just spontaneously combust. Sure, playing just the 3DS games would be good, but that's where the whole modding scene comes in. Like, you have access to several consoles worth of games, and that's just insane to think about. Because I don't want to be taken out by Nintendo, I'll not go into the specifics of how you would be able to play older games, but let's just say that all these older games and even 3DS games aren't available to buy from the eShop, you can use your own backups and emulate the games of other consoles. The modding scene is still really active for the 3DS, so there are new discoveries and apps still being made for it. You have access to consoles like the GBA, DS, SNES, and it can kind of play N64 as well. You can customize themes and overall, it's just a really fun console, especially at the price point it is right now. If you're more of a pro gamer who enjoys absolute realism in games and couldn't see yourself ever enjoying older games, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe you should just get yourself a Steam Deck. Also, if you aren't a fan of 3DS or DS games, you can just go the route of emulating these games on your phone or better yet, buying one of those emulation consoles. But for the rest of you, if you buy this, I guarantee that you'll have a whole new world of gaming experiences, and you'll probably get hundreds of hours out of the thing. I've loved playing games like Super Mario 64 for the DS, The Binding of Isaac, The Phoenix Wright Trilogy, Pokemon Fire Red, Cut the Rope, Mario Kart, there's even Terraria and Minecraft, but those are kind of older versions. One last time, the main standouts for why I love this console is that it's relatively cheap, it has a great battery life, and it can play so many wonderful games. So if these things sound good to you, you should buy one. If you do buy one, make sure you're buying a good one and check out some more videos before buying one. Plus, the most important thing is that it can play WarioWare Touched. I'd like to see your Steam Deck do that. 